Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. My name is Julie and today we will be thrift shopping at my local Goodwill store. I'm in here looking for home decor mostly, but I also will pick up anything else that I see myself or my family can use. I am not a reseller, so anything that I buy at the thrift store is for me, my home, my friends, and my family. Today's video is in collaboration with Danielle. Her channel name is Homemade Vintage, and if you love thrifting, hauls, decorating your home with thrifty finds, you will also love her channel. She is also from Texas, like me, so that makes it even more special. She and I talk a lot back and forth on Instagram. She is just an all-around sweet girl, so I know that you will love her channel. Be sure and go check out, see what she's all about. I know that you will enjoy her once you're over there, and don't forget to subscribe to her channel if you like what you see. Tell her that I sent you, and if you are coming over from Danielle's channel, I would just like to say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by to see what Thrill Thrifter is all about. We have a lot of fun over here. We do all things thrift. We do a lot of thrifting, a lot of hauls, a lot of decorating those things that we thrift. And so I just hope that you enjoy being here. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy what you see. Now let's get to thrifting and I'll share with you my haul and how I have styled a couple of things also. Normally when I go thrifting, I always have a family member with me. My whole family loves to thrift, and a lot of times my older daughters love to come and go thrift with me. But on this day, I snuck off and I went to the thrift store by myself. I thought. I was in this thrift store, you guys, just having a relaxing little evening. I didn't have Elizabeth, who is my youngest daughter, or anything. And then, lo and behold, y'all, my oldest daughter and her husband show up. I'm like, what in the world are y'all doing here, y'all? So, this just shows you that my kids love to thrift just as much as I do. They even come when I'm not with them. Well, I was ended up with them on this day, but that's not how it was intended to be. She does end up buying this little candle holder here. It was from Bath and Body Works, and she got it for only 99 cents, y'all. That was a really good deal. There you go, Karen. That's a Bath and, I think that's a Bath and Body Works yeah. candle holder. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That's cute for, for only Christmas. 99 cents, yeah. Yeah, for a dollar. It's cute.
Okay, y'all, I know that there are a lot of people out there that collect these thermoses. I am not one of them. I do not know if this was a vintage thermos or not. Do you know? Can you tell? I'm not really sure how to even tell, but I do know that a lot of people do decorate with those. However, I haven't jumped on that bandwagon yet. I think that they are cute, and I probably should have got that just so that I could gift it to someone that really does enjoy those. But y'all tell me, do you use vintage thermoses in your home decor? And could you tell if this one was actually vintage or not? Okay, y'all, and I just wanted to mention here, one of my subscribers, and I cannot remember who it was, so if it was you, comment down below and let me know who it was, but y'all, they said this gives them complete anxiety with all of the knives being out and all of the silverware just being out and accessible to everybody. She said, what if someone is just having a bad day and they come across one of those knives? And y'all, that is so true. I have always thought what in the world are they thinking having all of these knives out here because kids could get to those i mean it's just not real safe so what i will do a lot of times if i really do want to dig in those little bins of silverware is i find a pair of tongs <laughs> and i will kind of use that to move things around in those little containers if i'm looking for something at the bottom i will never just kind of stick my hand all the way down in there so i always suggest you find something that you can use to move that silverware around so you don't accidentally cut yourself or something In just a couple of seconds, I'm going to point to this little wooden thing here at the top. Yeah, right there. I purchased one exactly like that at a garage sale last summer, and I made it over, and I turned it into a little art caddy for my grandson, Carson. And y'all, he still loves that thing. He carries that thing around with his colors and scissors and all kind of stuff in it, and he still uses it and loves it to this day. It was one of the things that I did in a video where I called it thrifted to gifted and i gave every one of my grandkids a thrifted christmas gift that i made over and they still use and love every single one of them
Okay, y'all, and I do not know about your local Goodwill thrift stores, but mine, the furniture section at mine, has been looking really slim these days. Now, there are some furniture pieces back here on this day, but I am so used to this section being stuffed full of furniture that it's just weird to me that it is so empty. And I don't know why. I don't know if they're just not accepting that many donations or if people are just not giving them that many furniture donations anymore. Let me know, is your Goodwill stuffed full of furniture or is it looking pretty scarce like mine? It is no secret that my local Goodwill, their linen section, has always drove me crazy. And y'all, the last couple of times that I've come in here, I have been pleasantly surprised that they have all of a sudden started hanging up their linens. I am super, super excited about that because they used to be just like stacked up and stuffed in with all of those pillows. And that would make it so, so difficult to try to shop through. So I am pleasantly surprised with my local Goodwill and how they actually have all of their linens hanging up now. Good job, Goodwill, good job. Okay, y'all, I'm back home now. I'm gonna share with you what I got, and my haul on this video is a little bit different than what you guys are used to seeing or used to seeing me stop all throughout the video and show you what I got and how I styled it, but today's a little bit different because a lot of what I got is practical items. I did get a couple of decor pieces, and I will show you how I have those styled, but everything else is kind of, we have a beach trip coming up and just some things that I wanted for that and a couple of things for my grandkids. So I'm gonna share all of that with you and then I will show you how I styled the two home decor items at the very end. Okay, y'all, let me start with what I got the grandkids real quick to take to the beach. I thought that these were very neat little items for them to either play with in the car and once we get to the beach. Anyway, let me start showing you what I got real quick for the grandkids. So the first thing that I got was for Briley, and she is my little granddaughter um, that is seven, and it was this brand new little frozen thing. Um, I'm not really sure. I think it's okay. It's like this where you can write. You can't really see underneath here, but underneath here you can write with this pencil thing or use these stamps. I'm not really sure. 
what does it say? It has this little magnetic, excuse my light glare, sorry. It, you use this little magnetic pen and you can write on here and do some things and it comes with this little book. It is brand new, still in with the packaging and it was $2.99. So I know that she's gonna love that. She can do this in the car or once we get there and she'll have a good time with that. And the only other thing that I got for them game-wise is this um, surprise slides. I think it's kind of like shoots and ladders. I'm not really sure, but it is this Mickey Mouse and my little baby Carson, he is three. He loves Mickey Mouse right now. And or actually, no, you know what? Not shoots and ladders. It looks just like Candyland. Um, this game is put out by Disney. Here's the back. Yeah, see, it kind of looks like Candyland, I guess, except it's got a different little, it's got Mickey Mouse in them, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. But yeah, it was only 99 cents. And I opened it and, and made sure that everything was in here. <clears throat> and it is, it had the, it are, it still had the little paperwork. And so it told you exactly what all contents came in it. So I was able to look through here and make sure that everything was in it. And it was, so he is going to love that. They'll all love playing that. Him and Briley will love playing that while we're down there. And for only 99 cents, that's, that's entertainment. And I'm all for keeping your kids face out of an electronic device. I love for them to play games, be creative. I was not that mom that allowed their kids to be on a screen 24 seven. So anytime I can get them little things like that inexpensive, I go for it. Okay, and the only other little toy kind of item that I got, but it's really not a toy. And I got this for my newest grandbaby that's on the way. His name is Brigham, he's a little boy. And y'all, I cannot handle it. I don't know if this is a massager. <laughs> I really don't know. I thought at first it was a toy and I got it because his room has a big moose picture in it above his crib. And so when I saw this, I was so excited because I thought this would be such a cute little decor piece, like a little shelf sitter, or he could even use it to play with when he got older. I mean, I don't really know. You know how they, they have those massager things? I may be completely wrong, y'all, but it was only 99 cents. Let me see if I can get up here. I hope you can see that. It, <clears throat> I feel like it's a little blurry, but I thought that he was just precious and I thought that now his ears are a little, his ears are a little loose. So I'm gonna have to put some um, wood glue on that to make sure that that stays in there good and snug, but I can't help it. Whether it's a massager or a toy, it doesn't matter to me. Look at him. I mean, he's, he's just precious. And so I got that for him to put in his little nursery. I'm going to clean it up, get this glued down good, and he can hold it and push it. It can be a shelf sitter while he's a little bitty newborn. I just thought that it was precious. So I had to pick that up for his little nursery. I thought that that was so cute. Okay. And the next thing I got is, y'all, my husband is in there eating supper. So I can't say this very loud. For Father's Day, I got my husband this thing <clears throat> it's like okay so he carries me and elizabeth laugh at him we make fun of him but for since i've married known him he carries like a it just oh like a book a, i don't know what you even call i don't even know what you call it but um it just opens like this it's black and he keeps like he's a very organized person. So he keeps like a notebook in here. He keeps business cards, people he deals with, you know, all the time on a daily basis. He keeps little notes, but it doesn't have pockets and all like this. It's just a open and shut and he keeps a notebook in it. And so everything is like stacked on top of each other. So when I saw this, I thought this would be perfect for Father's Day. Y'all, he can get organized and it zips. So he don't have to worry about anything falling out. He loves this hunter green looking color. So I'm hoping that he likes it, but I got him this for Father's Day. It doesn't even look like it's been used before. It was $3.99. Oh, I hear my puppy barking to get in. My husband's in there, he can let her in. But anyway, it's really, really nice. I don't know if y'all can see all of the little, it's got pockets here. It's got this little zipper thing here. So. I mean, he, he's, he's a very, whoops, uh, wait, I think I just, no, I, okay, there we go. And you could put stuff in there. 
and he can put stuff in there. Oh, there's a highlighter in there. It's not brand new. It's been used because there's a highlighter in it. And I got a free highlighter. <laughs> um, but it looks brand new. I mean, it looks very clean. It doesn't really look like it's been used. And then over here is where he can put, he likes to use those yellow legal pads. And I guess, yeah, he can slide that down in here and it'll be perfect. And he can zip it up. So I was excited to find that for my husband for Father's Day. We don't really exchange a lot of gifts on like Mother's Day and Father's Day. He did get me a bar necklace from James Avery though for Mother's Day. And, but he don't care. I'll get him this. Elizabeth wants to get him a watch. So we're gonna try to go find him a watch. So I thought that that was a good deal for $3.99 and I hope he likes it. And he got a free pink highlighter. What else could he ask for? Seriously? Okay, and the next two things that I got are for myself for the beach. We are about to take a beach trip as a family. We're all staying in one beach house, pray for us, together. And I was just telling my older daughters that I would love to find like a little cute straw um, purse to take to the beach. And I didn't want to pay a lot of money for one because even at Walmart, they're kind of like pricey. They're, at Walmart, I priced them and they were like $25. I was like, no, thank you. Um, but I saw this one at Goodwill today, y'all. And it was only, let me see, $3.99. Look how cute this is, y'all. Look at the handles. And these move. These are like adjustable. It has these cute little knobs right here. They're nautical, nautical looking rope. And look at this little straw purse. It is adorable. And I love it even more because, y'all, it zips. Look at that. Now it needs cleaned. It's been used. You can definitely tell that. Um, but I don't know what brand it is or anything. I was going to try to see. It just says 100% wheat straw. 100% <laughs> wheat straw. Um, but here's what it looks like inside. You can see it's kind of dirty down there. But I like the way it, it does like this. Like it comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some Dawn dish soap and I'm gonna pull this out like this and wash it really good like over the sink and then let it air dry and it will be good to go. And I love how it kind of sits, wow! I love how it kind of sits up on its own and it's just perfect. Has a little side pocket. I don't see them very often um, like this that have a zipper. So I was like that. I like for mine to zip up. I just thought it would be cute and fun for the beach and, you know, kind of through the summer because it's like, looks just like a little summer purse. I thought it was cute. And like I said, it was $3.99. Okay. And then I got me, and this may gross some of y'all out, but it doesn't me because I know that I can wash it and clean it. And it is this adorable little straw hat for the beach. Look at that. Yeah. And look, it was only $1.99. It was worth bringing home and cleaning up for $1.99 because it's just got cute little detail on it. It's got, let me see if y'all can even see what that says on the front there. I don't know what that says. I don't know what that says, but it's got these cute little beads on it. I think you can do it like this maybe and kind of flap it up in the front if you want. I don't know. I just thought that this thing was stinking cute. So I got this for myself and yes, you can clean this. I will clean this just like I do my baskets and just like I'm going to do that purse. I'm gonna use warm water with some Dawn dish soap and I keep a sponge under my sink, literally labeled thrift. So anything I bring home from the thrift store gets washed with that one little um, bottle brush. And so what I will do is just gently wash this with some warm soapy water, you can wash it all the way through and I will let it air dry and it'll be perfect for the beach for $1.99. Yes, please. Okay, this piece is not decor, but I went ahead and picked it up because the last time I did a um, thrift, not last time, but on one of my thrift videos, I keep noticing that I pass these up and I keep thinking, why do I keep passing those up? Because that's very inexpensive and we could do some fun crafts with these or put jello in these during the holidays. So I grabbed this for only 99 cents. I got this fun little mold for Christmas time you see that? And I think it is so cute. It's got the little Christmas tree, the little hat. 
so adorable. And we will do something with these. We can make candles out of these. You can you can do all kind of little projects with these. So I can store this really easy in my kitchen underneath the cabinets. So I did pick this up and we'll find something to do with it. So got that for the holiday time. And the last two pieces are my decor pieces. And I will show you how I have them styled at the very end. So be sure and watch all the way through. And the first thing is this beautiful, y'all, I could not believe this was just sitting there on the shelf. Like sometimes I am shocked that people pass this up, but you know what? They were putting a lot of stuff out at my Goodwill. Like they were, they must have been like really trying to restock some stuff because I got this beautiful rolling pin for only $1.99, y'all. Look at the little red handles. I just thought that this was so cute. And here's the other handle. So I would definitely be displaying this in my kitchen. And I have, y'all, I normally do not decorate with red at all. It, it makes me think of Christmas time, but I have incorporated just very, very subtle hints of red in and throughout my kitchen for this summer. And I'm kind of liking it. I have like an old Folgers tin can that I got thrifting last year. Um, my vintage, well, I don't know if it's vintage, I think it is. The um, red and white check cookbook, I think it's Betty Crocker, I'm not really sure, or Better Homes and Garden, I can't remember, but I have that out and I'm gonna put this out. So just very, very subtle and I have it all spread out. So I just don't do red in my kitchen. Green is my color, I love sage green, but I thought that it's, I think it'd be pretty to incorporate a little bit. It's not overwhelming. It's, the way I'm doing it is just like very subtle, hints of it in and throughout. Okay, and the last decor piece that I got was, y'all don't laugh, do not laugh. I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all this, okay, so you probably saw, and if you didn't, last week I showed in my haul where I purchased a lampshade for a little bitty lamp like this because I was looking for something to go underneath my kitchen countertops. No, wait, <laughs> I'm not trying to find something to go underneath my kitchen countertops. Underneath my kitchen cabinets, let me correct myself. Sometimes I get to talking way too fast, y'all. But anyway, so this, little, the top is gonna go in the donation bin. That's not staying in my house. That is not my decor style at all. But I didn't get it for that. I got it for this part here. And I will probably paint this. I don't know, I'm gonna wait and see once I get it in there. But the shade that I got, I got at Goodwill the week before. And I got that shade because I knew eventually I would come across a little base that I liked, but it's the shades that are hard to find. So that's why I went ahead and picked up that shade. So I like to have like little night lights everywhere. I'm obsessed with little night lights. I don't know what it is. My, it drives my husband nuts. But I just got to have like that. When I walk in a room, I want the lighting to be just right. I don't know. I love it. And I don't like it to be dark. Anyway. So I got this to go on my kitchen countertops, underneath my kitchen cabinets, and I hope it fits, and I hope that that um, shade fits it good. So it's a here's a close little look up of this. I'm not sure how I feel about this color. I'm gonna put it under there first. I've, I've learned over the years to try it first and see if you like it for a day or two, and then you can always paint it if you don't. I was trying to find the price on this. What? I think this was a dollar ninety nine too. I think, I think it got stuck. I think it got stuck on my rolling pin. I know it was a dollar ninety nine. So I'll just pull that sticker off because I'm pretty sure that's what it cost. If you look back at the footage in the thrift with me, I think it was a dollar ninety nine. So that's all I paid for this little lamp with a bulb. So we're gonna see if it works, and I'll show you how I have it styled at the end. So yeah, that's everything that I got at the thrift store today. Thank y'all so much for going thrifting with me today. Now, um, this thrift haul was a little bit different and you know that I normally do like to incorporate my haul all throughout and show you how I have everything styled. But because we are getting ready to go to the beach, I'm kind of pressed for time getting this video ready. So I did wanna go ahead and get everything filmed and do the haul for you guys. But I will show you how I have this styled, so no worries. And if I can catch a couple of shots of me sporting my new little purse and my hat. I will definitely throw those clips in as well. That'll be fun. But anyway, you guys, we hope that y'all have a wonderful week. Thank y'all so much for coming along and going thrifting with us. We love y'all and we will see you next week with a brand new video.
Okay, y'all, and one more thing before I go, and then I'll let you enjoy these clips. Please don't forget to go check out Danielle's channel at Homemade Vintage. I know that you're going to love her. She is an absolute sweetheart. I love her to pieces, and I know that you will too. Tell her that I said hi when you go over and check her out, and don't forget to subscribe while you're there.